it's almost like a death. You're watching a building come down that's been there for, you know, so long. It's the end of the old era. It's the last vestige of what was once a really exciting and profitable time for Atlantic City. It just sat there empty. I started seeing pieces of concrete and the walls flying off of it. The Taj Mahal is now Hard Rock. Trump Marina is now the Nugget. There will be no more Trump. All right, they got a gate up, so we can't even go through. But the liquid bar was straight back on the other side. I worked here from 2005 to 2014, like a month or two before they closed. Everything's gone. My son, yeah, he's five years old. He calls it the broken building. You know, that's the way, because he's five. He's like, Daddy, Daddy, look at the building. It's broken. I'm like, well, yeah, they're knocking it down. They got all the stuff out here. All right, we're going back to the car now. And I would tell him, I used to work there. His grandmother worked there, his grandfather. So at five years old, he, you know, he understands, like, wow, they're knocking it down. So when he's older, I'm sure he'll remember. And the liquid bar right there, I used to work in there, too. Some people say, oh, it's just a building. Who cares? Nah, nah, it's not. No, it's not who cares. People don't realize that Atlantic City is just a little town. 48 blocks, and everybody knows each other. You see the same people, and people do live here year-round. It's the first beach patrol in the country. You can fact check that. And the same with the boardwalk. It's the first boardwalk ever in the country and the longest. So stuff like that, people really took pride in it. So I love Atlantic City since I was a little boy coming here through my 20s and 30s and 40s and, and, and until now in my 50s. To me, Atlantic City was everything. Place to go have fun, the beach, the boardwalk. We would come to concerts and shows and the restaurants and the bars and the clubs, the boxing matches at Boardwalk Hall. The city was a buzz. The 80s and the 90s were, for me, the heyday. There was probably 45 to 50,000 employees in the casinos. This here, I had so much fun here at, at Evo. It was a great restaurant, bar, outdoor seating. Mississippi Avenue is one of the historic streets in Atlantic City. The Trump Plaza, I have to be honest, you know, for me, that was one of the best places in my 20s and 30s. It opened in 1984. It was just this grand building. I mean, it was huge coming off the expressway. Trump's name was everywhere. There was two, three, and at one time, four casinos opened with his name, so it was employing a lot of people. I was the director of public relations for all three of the Trump properties at that time, the Taj Mahal, the Marina, and the Plaza. Personally, he liked me. He treated me well because I was always getting him in the newspapers or on TV, so as long as all that was going on, everything was great. However, I did see how he operated around me and with other people, and he was ruthless. When it went down, it went down really badly. I had a friend who was still working in marketing, and I called her up, and, and I hear people screaming in the background, what's going on? She said, oh, it's the mice. The rats and the mice are running around the office. Yeah. How sad is that? When, you know, the recession of 2008 hit, uh, it really, it, it hit Atlantic City hard. We've never really um, recovered from that, I don't think. The casinos that were open, the restaurants that were open, the stores, the bodegas, you know, they all suffer through this also. You know, the bars, um, because people are now moving away. We don't have the employees that we once had or the visitors, of course. So the plaza was taken over by Carl Icahn, but when there wasn't a market for that building, there was no other buyer to come in and he just closed it. With the plaza, it just sat there empty. Now, not only are they closed, it's starting to fall apart and, and, and literally fall apart. A lot of people were making this about 
Donald Trump or President Trump. Um, this was a decision about the health and safety and welfare, you know, of Atlantic City, ultimately, which I'm responsible for as mayor. To me, it's personal. I was a bar porter. I worked in the front bar, back of the house, you know, you name it, banquets, I did that. I worked in a beach bar. That was my first job. I've met so many people there. My mom, my dad worked there. I mean, I have massive pictures, holidays, baby showers, bridal I was, showers. And I was there with some of them. Yeah, Ben, this, Ben, you were three years old when I started at the plaza. That's the first uniform that I came into. I uh, worked race shift, 10 at night, four in the morning. Casino cocktail server and uh, six hour work days. She worked there a total of 26 years. And at the time when they closed, she didn't know what to do. Look at the nails. <laughs> That's funny. It was like, Mm. The 90s was a... I don't regret nothing. Yeah, it 90s. was like, you know, they call it Atlantic City Playground for a reason. Yeah. That money just became addicting. And it and it is. Yeah. Because I refused to go to college. <laughs> yeah, I didn't want to go see a school. I'm like, I'm sorry. Either. It's just not going to fit in my schedule. <laughs> I was chasing money. She so. was like, what am I going to do? Where am I going to work? This is all I know. Like, I've been here for so long. Where am I going to go making the type of money that I'm making here? Everybody work, went into a, a survivor mood. Yeah, like where am I going to work at? I mean, I've been here Because remember, it was four casinos that closed yeah. back to back. Remember yep. that? Mm -hmm. She went through it for a little bit, but she was able to bounce back. Yeah, it's cold, man. <laughs> well, after the implosion, when it's, you know, when it's all just a bunch of rubble, when I drive past, I don't know what, I'm like, what? I'm going to be like, like you know, wow. They they said it could happen any minute. All right, let's so go. we just yeah, walking. Yeah. Walk. Don't blow it, don't blow it up. We gotta hurry up and get there. It's cold. Where they at? They way back there. So we're on Atlantic Avenue right now. They gonna blow this thing up any minute. Mm, look how pretty that looks. A lot of people out here. Man, that's some strange shit to see it like that, you know what I mean? We're gonna cross the street. Goodbye. I love you. Thank you for the memories and making me grow up. I grew up a little fast, but it's okay. You taught me a lot. 26 years, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. Just let go. I'm just waiting for you to let go. Felt that. Damn. It's all gone. Wow. Woo. This is a pile of dust. Damn. Wow. Did you? S I felt that. It was heart wrenching, and I'm just glad it's just done. It's just done. Man, look, it ain't there no more. Look at that. It's gone. All gone. You felt that. Boom, boom. Damn. How are you feeling? Um, emotional. <laughs> Very emotional today. Yep. It's it's like a death. It's like a you know someone in your family passed away. You know that's how it feels. 26 years. Yeah. Yo, that was something. Wow. Hopefully, Atlantic City can come out of this. I'm hoping for better things, brighter things. We don't need another casino. That's the last thing we need. If I had it my way, I would hope that the area that is the former Trump Plaza 
will be some type of mixed use development with family fun entertainment to complement everything around because that has been our Achilles heel and we look forward to that in 2021. We are a resilient town. We fell down, but we get up every time. We've been written off so many times, but we always reinvent ourselves and come back.